Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our Breath of the Wild playthrough. It's episode seven. Oh, and in the last episode, uh, you know, we made some we made some some big steps. Link made some big steps. Uh, we got our paraglider for the first time. Went on our first uh, our first flight. We traveled around the Great Plateau. We heard a lot of great lore from King Rome, and learned. The story, the the our objective for uh, that's the wrong button. Nope, that's that's the there it is. Our objectives for the day, for the for the game. Uh, and then afterwards, we came over here and we defeated Stone Talus. Stone Talus is dead. There's there's nothing uh, in this circle of stones now. Uh, I'm pretty sure my recording software captured it for sure. I think I think it did. And because of that. Uh, we're we're good to go, and we're good to leave the Great Plateau behind. I'm leaving the Great Plateau behind because I don't think I have a chance in hell versus the uh, versus the Stone Talus. <laughs> ah, shit! I can't even kill a couple bees. I don't have a chance versus uh versus Stone Talus. So we're gonna uh we're gonna leave it behind, and in today's episode we're gonna do a very exciting thing. I think we're just gonna travel east beyond the Dueling Peaks. To speak with Impa. That's our goal. Seek out Impa. Uh, so that's that's the plan. Yeah. So I think the way that I would like to try and do that is... Big Tower? There's one thing we need to do before we, before we, before we travel east. But take me to the Big Tower, and we'll try it from here. Now, any good adventurer needs, you know, a map to, to mark where they've been so that they know how to find their way home. They need, uh, you know, um, some, some food so that they can do a little cooking dance every time they find a, uh, a cooking pot. They need a paraglider because, you know, uh, that's important for... Sorry, let me try and find out where I'm going here. Not that way... Oh, although I do see some loot there. I'm trying to go that way. There's no chance this is gonna work. Let's try it anyways. You need a paraglider, you need, you know, uh warm socks. Dang it, this isn't gonna work. I thought I I thought it would take me far enough. You also need a sword. And I am obsessed with this sword. On the inside of the lake. Oh, hello. You're dead. You're dead. See ya. See ya. Uh, and so we're gonna try and go get the go get the sword. Oh lord, the FPS just dropped like crazy. Okay. Listen, you guys just stay there. I'll just run around, ignore you. Let's run out of your out of the way. Leave me alone. And I'll go over to this lake. There's like a... There's a perfect little... I mean... It sounds like I could do... This. On it. Right? It's just that I also kind of want to... I kind of want to do the paragliding thing because that seems cool. And I just want to do cool shit. You know? Paragliding into an island in the middle of a lake to get your to draw your sword out of the stone. That seems cool. Freezing ice also seems cool. It's just that. Yep, that's it. That's the thing. Rusty broad sword. It's the exact same thing as this shit. It's not even all that good. Damn it. Rusty broadsword. That's right. I've got two of them. Every every young adventurer needs a incredible 
Incredible rusty weapon. Oh god, it looks so bad. It looks like it's really not taken care of very well. Plus, now I'm stuck in here. <laughs> I'm guessing I can swim out, but I think I might try and just hop over to here. Yep, that works well. Can I shoot the fish with my bow and arrow? Oh, I have to try. Uh, that worked. That worked perfectly, actually. Sweet. Now I gotta go get it, though. Oh, we're diving. The X button to dive. A Hyrule bass. Ordinary fish that can be found all over Hyrule. It can be eaten raw. But cooking amplifies its healing benefits. Yeah, I should sure hope so. I don't think you want to eat that shit raw. Is there any... You know, while I'm here... I guess I actually technically have to be on... What? No, I was kidding. Oh, that's a pitchfork. That's my pitchfork. <laughs> no, I thought maybe they put a fake rusty broadsword on top of the hill. And then they put a real incredible... Sword underneath the water. The one above the air would be rusty. The one under the water would be perfectly... Dang it. I thought I just discovered the most incredible. It's just my freaking broadsword. Or my... Uh, pitchfork. Shit. All right, well. Wait, can I just catch the bass with my fingers? It kind of looked like I could just grab it. It said take. All right, we'll try that another time. How about these lily pads? Can I do anything with them? Oh, Lord. No, but I'm running out of stamina. Oh, shit. Oh, that's the end. Nope. It's fine. There's no consequences, just other than Twitch chat making fun of me. Or than the YouTube comments making fun of me. Uh, it's fine. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the tower. <laughs> let's get out of here. I, uh... Now we have our incredible adventuring sword. Let's go ahead and paraglide out of here. To the east. Man, I'm never going to get over the moment of excitement I had where I thought there was another sword buried in the ground underneath the water. Dang it. I really thought we had something. Oh, it's fun. I'm sure we'll get better swords in the future. Okay, uh, we need to go east towards our marker, which is just, you know, vaguely that away. Music. Let's let's just go ahead and say au revoir to the Great Plateau. I should probably eat something before we go. Au revoir to the Great Plateau. I have meals, right? I have a couple meals. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just going to send it. Oh, never mind. I literally forgot. I did see this earlier, and I really wanted to see what this was about. So scratch that. We'll go. We'll go. I promise. We're leaving the Great Plateau today. I promise. We actually are going to leave the Great Plateau today. What are these? They look like runes. Headshot. You ready? Headshot. I kind of feel bad considering how cute these bacoblins are. But... They've also tried to kill me a bunch of times. So I don't feel all that bad. Nice. Du -du 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 -du. Hit me with that sweet, sweet music. 
Hit me with it. Uh, okay. Sorry, I gotta change my headphone volume super quickly. My headphones are very, uh, very old and glitchy. And so they randomly change volume themselves now. They, uh, they just randomly go up in terms of, uh, and, and increase volume out of nowhere. A lot of fun. All right, we have a thing we could cook at. Some cobbling torrents. We have some loot here. What do we got? What do we got? Traveler's sword. Very common sword. It's not going to be able to go into my inventory because it's full. Cool. I guess we'll just leave it there. I guess we have too much loot. Oops, I keep going up and down. Uh... Well, huh? screw it. Back to the back to the tower. Attempt number three at leaving the Great Plateau. This time, I'm not even gonna look around. I'm not even gonna look around and see what I haven't completed yet, or or what else I could check out. I'm always at war with myself. It's not even like. It's not even like I'm like. Most of the time, I'm not even thinking, man, for the people at home who are watching, I need to go do X or Y. It's like, Ryan, you want to go do X or Y. And then another part of my brain is like, right, but also, you haven't been over there yet. Why don't you go check this out? All right. We're leaving this time. We're headed out. For real. <laughs> I probably shouldn't run off because I uh, I lower my stamina a little bit. We have a big old forest here. I kind of feel like I should just go as far as I can. I feel like that would be fun. Let's just go straight for this. This is a big tall tower here. I'm sure it won't be inhabited by enemies. What's this? Uh, there are explosives. I mean, that worked. I rule. That worked way better than it should have. I. Nope. 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 No. Nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> that worked better than it should have, and then it went worse again. I think we just got some music because we landed on high rule. Kingdom ground for the first time. Wait, which end of this ladder is the right end? This end, okay. Oh, hello. We've got another chest right over there on top of one of the things. We have, oh! The goblins facing a. They're hunting. This is so beautiful. I feel like I'm in a David Attenborough documentary. Watch them chase. Oh, that one's frustrated. Oh, he's pissed. Is he going to throw it? No, he got dizzy. Oh, no, buddy. Don't worry. The, gob the, the, the hog is running in a perfect circle. Oh, he's frustrated. Okay. <laughs> Just still kill me. <laughs> All right. Fire arrow times five. Let's go. I can toss this off? That seems fun. I want to do that. There's one enemy still down below me. Oh, that was a... Uh... Random throw. I caught a bunch of... Oh, shit. I keep starting fires. Caught a bunch of bushes on fire. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and go... What is that? Oh, those are mushrooms. Okay. I mean, let's go for this other tower. 
Oh, no, I missed it. Sorry, I think I can climb. Link is a supremely talented individual. He can paraglide headfirst into a stone wall and then cling to it. That's incredible. Da -da -da. Amber. I gotta figure out what this thing is good for. It says valued in, in decorations and crafting. Rubies contain the power of fire. Opals contain the power of water. Hmm. I'm just reading into all of these descriptions uh, a lot. I kind of feel like we should let this guy... What is that? What? Is that a Bacoblin cousin? It kind of looks like... I mean, they have the same armbands. I feel like I should let these Bacoblins do their thing forever because the minute I interrupt them... Like, they're in a weird sort of bliss over... We're in a weird sort of bliss over there. What is happening here? I love this game. What's going on? What are you guys dancing about? Oh, oh, I should probably... Nope, 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 nope. Oh, yeah. Good hit, good hit. Good hit. Rusty broadsword. Badly damaged. You don't say? This blade that's not been taken care of very well? Oh, good. Just draw the next sword. Link, draw your next sword. Draw the other one, I guess. Ouch. Nope, nope, focus. I forgot to focus. Focus. Get him. Get him, Link. Get him. He dropped his, his axe. Okay. I feel like... A soup ladle. <laughs> oh, I feel like we're in over our heads already here in Hyrule Kingdom. Uh, kitchen implement often used for serving delicious soups. Carved from the wood of a sturdy tree. It actually packs quite the wallop. Okay. I'm sitting here debating what I should be using to fight with, and I'm like... My best items don't seem smart because they'll break. Uh, on the other hand, I feel like I should just use a medium, a medium quality item until it breaks. Oh, that's the wrong button. Shit. Oh, God. There, it broke again. All right, well. Now we can use this club. The club is super good. Does a ton of damage. Rusty how Oh, buddy. A rusty halberd. A rusty polearm likely used by knights from an age past. The spearhead is in bad shape due to prolonged exposure to the elements, so its durability is low. The rusty broadsword. Yes, this ought to do you. So there's different colors of the coblins. I'm assuming... I'm guessing that they are different difficulties. This is like how I'm... Uh, this, this is how I play games. I'm, I'm imagining... I'm imagining it's not how everyone else plays games, but here's how I play them. It's like, you know, game presents you with information. I'm going to form a hypothesis, a null hypothesis, uh, based on the information that they give me. Assume that it's correct until, uh, you know, and test it a million different ways. And, uh, until it, uh, until I'm proven otherwise. A rusty claymore. Okay. A rusty shield. It's only a three. It's likely this rusty old shield once belonged to a knight. It still has some defensive capabilities. Its usefulness has been worn down by time. Okay. I mean... 
really don't know what to take. Sure. I feel like I should keep a torch on me because the ability to have power, <laughs> the ability to have fire seems important. Pot lid seems useless. We've got a couple different uh, shields. That's the one I already have on. We'll take this one for now, I guess. The piano. Do you have any arrows over here? I feel like killing the archers to get their arrows is the uh, the best. There it is. Best thing I can do. All right. Well, I love these little like shattered carts. Looks like they're being used for uh, shelter almost. I guess let's, I I kind of want to see what one of those is. I kind of want to try and take one out and see how far in over my head I get. The problem is I'm starting to think maybe I'll try and take one out and I'll, and I'll run into like seven. Oh, look at those pretty, pretty birds. All right, let's try and take one out. You know what? Let's try and take this one out who appears to be alone. Oh. Okay. Grab these real quick. There's more noises over here. Oh, hello. We're on a stealth mission. I did pretty good. Hit him down to half health. And he dropped his weapon. Oh, you're huge, though. Oh, God. I have felled a giant. I am Ling Gi Link Giant Killer. It's a moblin. Okay. Shark fa sharp fang obtained from a moblin. Too hard to be reshaped into a tool. It can be tossed into a stew with some critters to create elixirs. Another fang, a horn. Splendid horn once grew atop the head of a moblin. Can't be used in normal food recipes. It does have some use as an ingredient in making elixirs. And then an enormous moblin club. Crudely fashioned. Carved from a sturdy tree. Sloppily made so it breaks easily. So. They tell you about the durability like almost all of the time. It appears that they're like constantly. They being the writers of the game. The people who write the descriptions. The, the game in general. The devs. They're always telling you about the durability. So I'm really pretty sure we don't. Uh. We don't. We don't repair stuff. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Well, we've done a little bit of exploring. Let's go along this road. I really want to see what happens when we go along this road. Boko Bat. Uh, clunky club made by a Bokoblin. Swing it at an enemy shield. It might knock it out of their hands. You can't carry any more melee weapons. Great. Kingdom in Ruin, the road here, the tattered flags, and we're running off to town to find Impa. Boy. Give me your jelly. Are those dragonflies? Those are dragonflies. Huh. We have a flagpole. Can I climb the flagpole? Of course I can climb the flagpole. Can I climb blank? Answer, yes. 
Ooh, there is a thing we learned last episode. It's called a guardian, or it was called a guardian. Um. So I want. Oh, and there's more over there. Let's see if these are activated. I keep going in circles. On accident. Oh! You can jump. Okay. Hold up. Let me try that again. I was going to jump off, but I was holding up. Huh. Okay. Good to know. Very interesting. Hey, are you turned on? Outpost ruins. We're learning. We're learning. You can jump while climbing, but it greatly diminishes your stamina. Spring used in ancient machinery. It's light and buoyant enough to float on water, no matter how many times it's compressed, etc. Okay. I wonder if it... I wonder if jumping gets you the same amount of distance that the other... that the stamina you otherwise would have used gets you or not. Those are what we call rhetorical questions here on this playthrough. Uh, just a reminder, this playthrough is super blind, and I would love for it to stay that way. That means any part of this game, any information that you may know about it from your years of playing, experiencing it yourself, uh, watching other people play it and, and watching videos online, I've avoided, I've avoided all of those things up to this point so that I can have this experience. The experience of seeing a fox for the first time in the grass. So that I can have the experience of experimenting with flight and climbing and whatever, cooking, making plenty of mistakes, but piecing, but piecing it together like a beginner to this game would. Uh, I know you guys have been great about this already. Just a reminder, if your comment is going to give me any information on a mechanic, a tip, uh, any piece of like, hey, you should go here next, you should do this thing next, please don't write it. Um, all right, we'll have comment moderators checking out the comments and keeping uh, keeping them free of that kind of stuff so that I don't see it, but we can never be too careful. Um, yeah. I want to meet this fox. This is the first animal that I definitely don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot it. I want to, I want to say hi to it. <gasps> it's la- oh. It's laying in the grass like a baby. Its ears are twitching. Uh, that is so fucking cute. This is the greatest moment of my life. No, come back. I want to be with you. I'm going to scare it. I don't want to, but I'm... Oh, hi. Yep. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I'm crying. That was incredible. Oh, now it's gone. That was, ah, oh, that was so cool. Yeah, it was so majestic. This looks like a trap. All right. What is this? And am I going to get zapped and or killed? By trying to pull it out of the rusty claymore? Okay. Shit, the wrong button. Uh, we got a couple of those. I got one of those already. I need a backpack. That's what I need. I need, a, I need an enormous backpack that can carry a million items in it. Maybe there'll be backpacks. Rusty Halbert. All right, cool. One of those is definitely going to be awake. There's rusty items everywhere. Which I got to tell you, finding so many rusty items, kind of, makes it seem like the rusty items I have are a little bit less special. Exploring, that's a chest, hell yes. The chest, but it chest, but it's kinda stuck in the ground. Oh. Okay. Uh 
Okay. There we go. Much better. Amber, baby. Wonder what I'm gonna make out of amber eventually. Probably something cool. Oh, that's some lore. That's a good old. I don't know why I assumed it. That's some lore. Was this book always here? Let's read the first page. Misco X. Misco's X journal. I hid the eight priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle in treasure chests. I shall write down their locations. Next page. The ancient mask lies at the ruins where soldiers gathered. From there, the waters of Lake Colomo are visible. The green garments of the man who wished to be a fairy are hidden in the ruins of Hyrule Field. Find these pieces at, pieces at the ruins where trade flourished, at the ruins where sinners were imprisoned, and at the village ruins next to farmland where many people once gathered. The Princess of Twilight. Isn't that a Zelda game? Twilight Princess? Or is that something else? That's a Zelda game, right? The Princess of Twilight, whose stories are handed down along so, alongside those of the Hero of Twilight. Her helmet can be found at the temple ruins, soaked in the water of the Regencia River. Armor worn by fierce phantoms, feared even by heroes, is hidden in the ruins of Hyrule Field. Ceremonial grounds where royal guards are honored, ruins where the soldiers of Hyrule gathered. X is written... Sorry, X, E-X, is all that's written on the last page. What could it mean? Oh, this is a... Okay, it's a... I was like... This is a lot of information. <laughs> of course, they're going to make it an actual... An actual full side quest. Our first side quest? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Interesting. So, first one says the location of the ancient mask. Second one is uh, three garments hidden. Water-soaked ruins uh, for the helmet of twilight. And then equipment hidden. Let's do this one real quick and just see where it takes us. Oh, that's such a cool little ra uh, radar moment. Okay, it's, I have a hypothesis. Speaking of uh, my, my way of playing games, right? I have a hypothesis. We have a little radar around ourselves, but we don't have a answer for where this would be. So I'm guessing either because we haven't found the item yet or because we're not close enough to it. We haven't found the place name yet, or because we aren't close enough to it, that they aren't showing up on our radar. Okay, so none of them are showing up yet. Uh, unless they're... Oh, they might be directly below me? Wait. Okay, hypothetically also what's happening is just that <laughs> the marker isn't updated and for some reason it's directly below me and I thought that <laughs> I thought that there was no marker on the map. Okay. I wonder why. I wonder if the marker is not updated because it's where the book is found or marker's not updated because Hmm. All right, well, either way, it's not. it doesn't seem like something we're going to be doing right now. We're seeking out Impa. Duh. I'm about to go get blasted by this guardian. Wait, what is this? Rusty shield? Okay. I'm ready. One of you guys is going to light me on fire for sure. Not you. Would 
Wooden bow, not very reliable. Okay. Um. I'm kind of in a weird spot right now where I really don't know what to loot and I don't know what the things that I loot actually do. Cool, that thing was not on fire. Great. You know, like... Hey, there's a piece of loot. Like, I don't know what Amber does yet, so I don't know what I need it for. I don't know what Ancient Springs do yet, so I don't know what I need it for. Yep. Traveler's bow. Um, I think from the bows that I have... We need to probably drop a couple of the broken ones. Traveler's bow is bad. It's a five and it's like basically broken. Um, soldier's bow is what I'm using. Let's use the Traveler's Bow. It says something about a distance. Wait, wait, wait. Sure. Grab this. I accidentally dropped that. Never mind. That. <laughs> Sorry. This is the one I don't want. Let's equip this one. Okay. Great. Woo, still sorting out the menu system. Sorry. Bear with me. Okay, we got one piece of loot. One of the buildings. Another one in th this one. Listen, there might be a little bit more. Some of these outpost ruins. Hello. Don't mind me. Let me just run away from you. You can't see me. I'm hiding. Next to jump. Let's go. We've learned so much already today. This episode's only 40 minutes in somehow. Learned so much. I can jump while climbing. A red rupee. Now that's what I'm talking about. Give me some coins. It's red luster tickles your heartstrings. Hell yes, it does. I'm excited. I have somehow 20 green green rupees. Ah! That was a absolutely I hit him from right on top of him. Uh, let's try this halberd. It's a two-handed weapon probably, yeah. Yeah, two-handed weapon. Okay, but we got him from a distance. Oh! <laughs> Okay, I think I like the halberd. <laughs> They're just like... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Halberd was fun. Big fan of the halberd. All right. Big jump, big jump. I don't know if I checked this building. Probably not. Got to check for the good, good loot. Nothing over here. Paraglide for 10 straight feet. Oh, hello. I don't feel like it's worth fighting you because I just feel like you're going to... You're going to just waste my durability on my items. Oh, buddy. Alternatively, come over here and get killed by these rocks for me. I kind of feel like we should go up there. Oh, buddy. Look at all these, these baddies over here. <gasps> it's my favorite animal in the game. Oh, my God. Observe the fox from a distance. It just looks like the main character in an animated movie. Uh, starring themselves. Oh. That's the cutest shit I've ever seen. Do it again. Yes. Big stretch. Oh. <laughs> it's so cute. I want one as a pet. Uh-oh. There's deer. Oh. 
Shit. Focus. There we go. There were some deer. Acorn. Oh, man. Now I just want to watch a Disney movie starring the animals of the forest from this game. Is that loot down there? There's at least one sword. But it's probably just something rusty, right? Rusty halberd. Rusty broadsword. I mean, I've used mine a little bit now. I could always just drop the one I got. Take the next one? That seems not like a dumb... I, I mean, top off my... Top off my stamina? I don't know. Sorry, my durability? Oh, I got some signs. Tell me how to get to Impa. I think Impa is a person. Dueling Peak straight ahead. Lake Hylia is to the right. Now... Did one of these say anything? Wait, wait, did one of these say Lake Hylia? I'll be honest. This was all a lot of information when I read these. So I don't know. Lake Colomo. Regencia River. Hyrule Field. Ruins of Hyrule Field. Okay. I mean, let's go to the lake. It seems cool. I want to see the lake. I got to know what's going on with the lake. Path is right there, and I keep running away from it. But I'm thinking if I go up high, I can just drop down, you know? This game is enormous. What the fuck? <laughs> Link's tired. <laughs> This game is so big. Ah, the dueling peaks. Ouch. I'm really just adopting the, uh, Taking it a second at a time here. With this game. Like, like, not getting too tied to any idea of what's next. Because, uh... It just keeps throwing cool shit at me, and I just keep wanting to do the cool shit. So the road goes right past that. Whatever that is. And then over to the big bridge! Which we saw from above, and another, like, treehouse thing. Okay. Sure. And then up here, there's, like, a... Let's go up here. Sure. Are those flamingos? They might be flamingos. They kind of look like herons, but I mean, those are flam ah, they're colored like flamingos, but they, I'll be honest. I don't know the difference between a heron and a flamingo, like in terms of how other than how they look. Korok, let's fucking go. Oh, and you have a different face. You have a autumn leaf and holly berries. <laughs> These are the Junimo of this game, by the way. <gasps> I love these little rocks. Aha! <laughs> okay. Uh, well, cool. 
I don't know. We made it up here. What next? Let's use our height to our advantage. I can already tell. My brain's already starting to work this way. Oh, shit. This way, right? Where it's like, use your height to your advantage. Get up to the top of stuff and then jump off. Okay. So sweet. That's the road that we would have taken right here. Over that little uh, water thing. <laughs> water thing? It's a river. <laughs> Towards the dueling peaks. On the other hand, I want to go see this bridge just because I think it's fucking cool. Let's just try and stay in the air as long as possible. Uh-oh. I might regret this. What are you? Crazy bird? Oh, that was a magical moment. I felt that somewhere deep inside of my heart. This is so fucking cool. Oops. Another fox. Oh, hi, friends. Uh, do you have a do you have a bridge? No, you don't. Okay, but there are like five of you. You ready? Shot of a lifetime right here. Legolas. Legolas a little bit higher. Oh, hello. Did this bush just move? Did that bush just move? Does this bush move? Oh, they're just chopping them down. I swear to you on my screen, that looked like the bush moved and just like noped out of there, ran away. Okay, all right, we can, we can take you guys. Nothing one rusty halberd can't do. Uh, and also a rusty claymore. This thing is super slow. <gasps> no, you're strong. Shit. No. Okay. All right. All right. Continue from the last save. <laughs> Sorry, in my defense, wind the tapes back. It looked like that bush just saw a bunch of bacoblins running up and said, nope, and dipped out of there. I think it was just the, the animation of it fading into the ground. Wait, I just got new. Xenoblade Chronicles? What? I just got new uh, quests as well. I'm, oh my God. Ah, uh, I don't know what those are. They stress me out a little bit. I have an idea. I have an idea, though. I have an idea. These side quests uh, with EX in the title, I have no idea what's happening with them. We'll take a deeper look at those in another episode. Usurper King. I don't know what they are. We're going to let our stamina reset, and then we're going climbing. We're gonna drop on them from above. We're gonna burn their playhouse down. Vertical surfaces become slick with water when it rains. What about jumping? How's jumping go? Better or worse? Oh no. Okay, all right. That's a very cool detail. Vertical surfaces become slick when it rains. That's awesome. I mean, I know it's making my life more difficult right now, but that's very cool. What a level of depth. All right. What if we just jumped? What if we just jumped? What if we went for it? Go for it, Link! Expert climber. All right. Oh, 
Just just a couple big jumps. Don't slip. Don't slip. I can't tell if he slips every time or if it's like a chance of slipping. Okay, we might have to go kill him the old-fashioned way. By like walking in their front door. Yeah, he slips every time. Damn. All right. Never mind. That was the back door. We're going to try the front door. <laughs> back to the front door plan. Also, let's just chuck a fucking bomb at him. Gorok? Gorok? Lizard? Gorok? No, Korok. That was not... That's too far. That's a good shot, though. Good shot. Okay. Chuck one of those. That way. Chuck one of those. Oh, no. Nope. That's the wrong button. Oh, shit. I threw my halberd. Oh, no. Okay, we should take care of you first. You're the strong one. Behead him. Behead him. No, don't let him, don't let him get a weapon. No weapons. Soldier's broadsword. Let's take that. We'll save that for a rainy day. I know it's I know it's a literal rainy day here right now, but we'll save the soldier's broadsword for a rainy day when we really need some some combat boost. Also, we did pick up this. We act, we didn't drop this. All right, we'll do this. There we go. All right. Combat continues to go super smooth and super well. They just keep blowing their horn. Ow! Probably just launch an explosive at you, frankly. Or a bomb. All right, we did it. Our first Bacoblin fort inside of a, uh, inside of Hyrule Kingdom proper. Gone down. Let's go do some looting. See what we won. Okay. Um. Explosives. The sun has come out. I think I've decided right right sort of during the middle of that fight, I think I decided what my philosophy is gonna be in terms of for now, in terms of like what weapons I'll use. Oh hi there dude. I'm gonna use uh the rainy day philosophy. See ya Which is like let's let's save a soldier's bow and the soldier's broadsword for a rainy day. Always have a little something, a little something in the in the back, stockpiled for when when all of a sudden you have to fight a, a stone talus that keeps kicking your ass or something. All right, we got some ice arrows. I probably should stop just spamming arrows, but uh, cool. Let's go take a look at this bridge. This thing looks awesome. I want to see it. So fucking cool. Bridge of Hylia. God. The, ah. Uh. The little crenulations, the, the valleys and, and ravines and such of this, uh, of this spot has me feeling emotional. 
I love this. There's this lake in Northern California where I lived for a couple years and I went to grad school called Lake Berryessa, uh, kind of near Napa. I would run there a bunch and there's this trail which was really not used very often at all. Uh, but it would sort of like follow the ridge line over like over uh, the top of a bunch of uh, the like sort of foothills surrounding Lake Berryessa. And this, uh, I mean, like, this is a pretty good, you know, representation of what it was like. It was awesome. It was so cool. Uh, just, like, foothills right up to the water. Ah, this is beautiful. Holy shit. Okay. First off, I wonder if we can get up here. Second off, we got to walk out on the bridge. We have to track. Gotta go out here. Pick up stones? I mean, let me chuck a stone in the water. They just have mini games. Oh, nope. Mini games everywhere? That was a pretty good throw. Not a good enough one? This is. Oh, man. We're a week into this game, and seven seven episodes, and I'm more sure than ever that this is just like the uh, this game is just like uh, it's the definition of of what it means to play a game. You know, you just play around. You just nope, that that sucked. You're just constantly experimenting and testing and. Walk right up to the edge. Chuck it there. No, I really am not very good at this. They have to give me more stones if I if I fuck these ones up, right? Maybe that'll do it. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> It's like being a kid and just like walking out on it's like the first day the river froze over or like you know there's ice on the sidewalk or like you just go and you just just play just see what is is possible oh and i feel like that's the definition of this game for me so far it's just oh buddy is first off being very scared of enemies oh my god and second off, just like seeing what's possible. Oh, there's two of them. All right, that's gonna have to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Another venture into Hyrule, and this time into Hyrule proper. We've left the Great Plateau behind. We're off on a true adventure now. We're, we're, we've left home. We'll see what the next episode has in store for us. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, positive comment. They help me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, bye-bye.